Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a picture rotator that fades in and out. For other tutorials, make sure to check out www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Okay, say we have a set of pictures that we want to kind of rotate in and out on a web page. The first thing we need to do is get the pictures ready. Here on my desktop I have a, a small folder of pictures. These pictures I've already optimized for web. Um, you can do that easily with Photoshop or other um, ed photo editing programs. I've set these to 72 dots per inch and set their width at 400 pixels, uh, height 300 pixels, just so that they're a smaller size that the web can handle, and also in our flash file. It's always, prop it's always a good idea to optimize those before you put them up on the web so that way they load faster. Um, First thing we're going to do is go up to File, Import to Stage. We want to select one of our pictures. Now, if the picture names are like this, picture one, two, three, or four, or if, it, if ABC, those kind of things, it'll um, flash when you import them. We'll detect that it's a sequence. And we want to detect all of them. Yes. The other thing that I wanted to make sure is that you set the uh, appropriate stage setting. So if you right click on the desktop or on the stage and you can go in and set your document properties. I already set this one to 400 by 300 so it maximum matches my pictures. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure all of these pictures are on their own layers. So I'm going to make four layers. I'll select my first photo and separate them out. Next thing we need to do is this create each picture as a graphic. On the, with the picture converted to a graphic, we can then change the, our transparency or our alpha. So if you select the picture and press F8, we want to change this to a graphic. Let's not see that one. Let's choose our next one. Press F8. It's a graphic. Press F8. Now they're all graphics. Okay, first, or now, I'm selecting all of the last frames in my layers. I'm going to go ahead and drag them out to 30. 30 frames. I'm going to come over to the fifth frame. And just to make this easier, you could do them one by one, but it's um, shift and select all of these frames and right click and convert to keyframe. And do this again at 25. Shift, grab all those frames and convert those frames to keyframes. Okay, now what we're going to do is on the first frame, select all of the, our graphics, our pictures. And if we come down here in our properties panel, I'm going to go over to color, go down to alpha, and set our alpha at 0%. We want to do that with our final frames, our final frames as well. Go over to color, alpha, 0%. So the alpha of our ones in the middle are still 100, and the ends are 0. Now what we want to do is create a motion tween between each of these. Again, I selected all the frames anywhere in between the, those two keyframes. And if you right click and select create motion tween. And do that again at the end. Okay, so now we have all the photos fading in and fading out. Now all we have to do is position these frames in our timeline where we need them. So I'm going to have it set as this one fades out, our new one fades in. So I'm just going to overlap them a little bit there. And you can adjust the timing however you need to. Um, if you want them to stay longer, you just create more frames in the middle. If you want to fade out to be longer or shorter, you can just use different key frame lengths. Now, if we press Apple Enter or Control Enter, 
we have our fade. And because there's no action script at the end telling it to stop, it'll just go back to our first photo. So that's a really easy way to embed the photos into a Swift file and create a rotating, fading in picture rotator. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, again, please feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials to come. I'm going to show you later how to build one um, that the files are actually pulled out so you don't have to actually embed them into the file and using some action script and things. But this is just a very simple way to get your photos up on the web and kind of a cool picture rotator. Thank you very much.